Hi, I'm Gary with Gary's Resolve. And with this video, I'm going to cover five different ways to protect your bike, your e-bike specifically, from thieves. The most important thing, of course, is there are different ways to do it, combinations of ways to do it, and I think I'm going to be able to cover most of those explanations. In the event you have other suggestions and or questions, please comment to me and I will get back to you with my comments on your comments. And also hit the subscribe button along with the bell so you're notified the next time I put out a video. Thanks again. The very best protection for your e-bike in 2021. Number one, a simple D-lock priced at $119 and a foldable heavy duty lock at $99 and a front disc brake lock priced at $29. Worst case, the whole bike is stolen, locks and all. Or, most often the case, is one lock failed and all the rest were useless thereafter and the whole bike is stolen. This is the battle between high-tech anti-theft versus high-tech theft. Even worse case is nobody wants your stinking bike and you think it's because of the locks. And you can continue to ride around on a piece of junk bike and still miss over the $200 you spent on security. Sort of like putting lipstick on a pig. Number two, alarms. Yeah, those work like the ones that go off at night on cars and you only hate the owner, not the thief. I'm sure it's a false alarm, no big deal. Small batteries on the alarms on bikes make it so it stops sooner. Or it'll send you a text if you're looking at your phone at the time or within the Bluetooth area of 40 feet. You can't get to the drink section of the 7-Eleven within 40 feet. Can you see that far? Then just watch it. By the way, are you fit enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a nut that steals bikes and is more prepared for battle than you? Number three, GPS. Global Positioning Satellite. This is the newest high-tech system to help you find your bike once stolen. A simple little device that hides in the frame or the handlebars or somewhere on the bike. So none can really tell it's broadcasting its location 24 seven if it's turned on. This is like your car door looks to work 24 seven if you remember to lock it. Again, the problem is the battery life of the GPS and you're going to pay uh, roughly $48 a year for the GPS service after you paid the money for the GPS device, which is about 200 bucks. However, that's not the main problem with GPS. Once you find the location of your stolen bike, do you get a local posse together and rush the place? Maybe, but most likely you're hunting down a guy that just got a great deal on a bike that belonged to some guy's dead grandmother, so he said. Or perhaps you thought the police will send out an APB to all squad cars to track the signal of the GPS. Wrong. Have you not ever had a car stolen? They will wait until the thief creates a bigger crime. And then while following up on that, they find that he's driving your car. When would this even happen with a bike? Usually when and if you find your GPS powered bike, it's now yellow with red flames, missing the drivetrain, brakes, wheels, handlebars, all the fancy things you had it equipped with. 
Number four, and probably most common, don't worry about it. If somebody wants your stuff, they'll come and get it. However, people are basically good in nature and will return things once they're done with them. Look at your neighbor with your electric hedge clippers you loaned him two years ago. Number five, insurance. Cycling insurance, exactly. Covers the total cost of the bike and all improvements like saddlebags, updated seat handlebars, camera, and the locks that apparently didn't work. I had the insurance and it was $178 for two years of coverage. All they need is the serial number of the bike, the invoice for the bike, and your old receipts that you bought after you bought the bike. And this is all based on $2,000 bike that I bought. Of course, they need the police report that you reported when it was stolen. Now, I still lock my bike when I run into the store or coffee shop. I'm not looking for new ways to walk home. Just like locking your car, you still insure it for theft. By the way, cycle insurance also covers damage to other people or things if you are a crazy biker and get into an accident. I would appreciate any comments or suggestions you have about this uh, topic. Or if you don't mind, uh, hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell so that you'll be reminded the next time I put up a video.